As we continue to count down to Super Bowl 57, some of the brilliant artwork you have seen all over your television screen and social media feed, we are now happy to be joined by Lucinda Hinojos, the artist responsible for some of the pastoral images of Arizona that are now going worldwide. Thank you so much for joining us, Lucinda. Thank you for having me. This means a lot. <laughs> oh, we're super happy to have you here. We, you know, these these pictures, they're, they really recreate that very majestic purple Arizona sunset that we've all come accustomed to. And you're the first artist of Mexican and indigenous descent to ever be featured yes. so prominently in Super Bowl advertising. What does this moment mean for you? And take us back to that moment when the NFL called and said they wanted to use your work. Um, man, it's been, it was overwhelming. It was very like a happy overwhelming for me because it feels so surreal. Still, I'm just trying to take it all in. Mm -hmm. And when I received that phone call um, that I was selected to be the Super Bowl, to paint the Super Bowl ticket, it was emotional for me. Because for that very moment, I saw a glimpse of everything I've been through, like the obstacles, the hardships, and all the hard work I put in to get here and be here at this moment. And honestly, art changed my life several yeah. years ago. And I never, you know, aimed to even like do something like this. It's just something that I was passionate about and something I love to do. And I've, and I've seen the impact it has on communities, what murals have on communities and art in general. And I just wanted to do the same for others. And that's what I've been doing. And, and so it's really, you know, been beautiful to see it just naturally, organically happen this way. And it's just, I'm just so honored. It's very beautiful artwork you've done on these, these tickets. And I, I know the theme was the history of Arizona and the culture of Arizona. Yes. What, what does the history of Arizona mean to you? So the history of Arizona means to me is that we're currently, I'm in Phoenix, Arizona, which is on Akamo Atam Divwe. That means like Salt River. Mm -hmm. And to me, it means the homelands of my ancestors. You know, there is 22 tribes here in Arizona and not many know that. Yeah. You know, and so I wanted that representation to be shown in the Super Bowl ticket and in this painting. And so it's more than just a ticket. It's more than just a piece of artwork. It's a celebration of not only the football game, but of our indigenous people here in Arizona and nationwide. Um, you know, and so with the, the elements in the painting, I incorporated um the significant elements that represent something. So everything in the painting has meaning to it. It's not just a hummingbird. It's not just a nopales or a yeah. cactus. <laughs> um, you, you mentioned 22 tribes in the Phoenix area, indigenous tribes, that was their home. What is the, the, the conversation like for them to have been marginalized and now to be celebrated by your artwork and also showcased to billions around the world? They are so proud. They're emotional, they're proud, they've been cheering me on. I've received so many messages mm -hmm. and I'm just honored and it makes me emotional because, you know, for some, they're, it feels like they're being seen for the first time, wow. right? And because of that, you know, culture assimilation happened to our people. And now it's like, this to me is a form of reclamation, a re, you know, reclaiming what was taken from us because it wasn't long ago that we weren't able to, you know, have our prayers or have our ceremony and celebrate our culture, you know, but now here we are, um, you know, reclaiming and being in the spaces and why not for the big, in the, this is the biggest platform in the world. Mm -hmm. And so as indigenous and, and brown people, from hearing their stories, like hearing from them, they are proud. And for that, it makes me proud. And you know what? I, I can't really speak for, for all tribes. I can speak for our native people. I can speak for one of us and from my experience. Yes. And so, but you know, I'm just doing my best to have that representation in this, in this art piece. And then in also the mural. <laughs> Well, I was going to say, I know you've been working on murals out there in the valley as well. What, what's that moment like when you're driving down a baseline, you're driving down Camelback, you're driving the 101, and you see your artwork in the ticket, but then you also drive and you see the murals that you've worked to create out there in the valley? Yes, yeah, so we actually, the second part of this project, we painted the first, uh, it's the largest mural for the NFL. So we painted a mural 
uh, for the Super Bowl, and we just finished it a few days ago. It's over 5,000 square feet. It's huge, and we did it in 21 wow. days. I didn't do it. Yeah, I didn't do it alone. <laughs> I did it with um, another, and we did it. It was another historic mark, largest mural, and again the first brown indigenous crew to paint something like this for the NFL. And so when you're coming down Washington, and you're you're just driving west, you you're gonna see the mural, and it just hits you with color with spirituality, with culture, and it's like, it just, you can feel it, and mm -hmm. it'll make, it seriously will make you go, wow, because on my way over here, uh, walking, I was wa looking down, but I looked up, and I was like, whoa, it just <laughs> hits you with color, and it's just so beautiful. I know the NFL <laughs> added their legacy projects to Super Bowls in recent history, leaving an impact on different cities after the Super Bowl has come and gone. It's great to see the legacy you're leaving. I do want to ask you about football. I understand you have a child that plays a sport, right? <laughs> yeah it's yes i do so <laughs> my kids are no longer my kids are are i say like young adults <laughs> but gr I'm, growing up the boys play pop warner football yeah. and that's kind of what planted the seed for all this whole art career because you know back then single mother of three i was trying to you know have a side hustle so i could help pay for the get the boys pop warner wow. and so isn't that crazy that's been full circle and here mm -hmm. i am working with the NFL and my son Nathaniel is a huge actually all my kids are huge football fans but their their team is uh the Cowboys <laughs> Ooh, in Cardinal country they're Cowboy fans really yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and and best best part though so this past Christmas I bought my son uh CD Lamb's uh, Jersey mm -hmm. and yesterday we're at the NFL honors and guess who we got to talk to CD lamb 88 and he, himself he yeah number 88 yeah yeah and I told him the story I shared the ticket and he was blown away he's like you did that you did that and he gave me a big old hug so it was awesome my son was shaky <laughs> as a mother how um how cool is this right like your hard work is taking you from a side hustle something fun to now worldwide notoriety and to share in this moment with your kids, with your people, and your home. It is, it is so emotionally, like, I'm still, like, it's so surreal for me. Uh -huh. And I'm very proud. And now I'm officially a really cool mom. And I'm like, <laughs> now I'm cool. Now I'm cool. And my kids are like, this is cool. You're cool. Because their friends are resharing all of their pictures and everything that we're doing. And, yeah, football has been a part of our life since the, the kids, the boys were little. So it's so awesome to be here full circle. Um, I got to ask you about the ticket, right? Like I know the NFL wants digital tickets, but did they make you a commemorative piece to hold on to of, of the beautiful artwork you've done on the official NFL ticket? So I haven't, I seen the paper ticket through Zoom, but I haven't actually seen it by hand. Yeah. I, they are going to tell me about the game. I am going to the game with my kids, which is awesome. Um, but you know what? I think there's that next phone call will probably be talking to me about the ticket because I told them that ticket is actually a piece of art. It's so beautiful. Yeah. Have you seen the actual the, the paper ticket? I know they do digital now, but I, I know that they're going to do print some for collectors but I'm hoping to get one. Well, Lucinda, I've been to the Valley. The, the sunsets are amazing out there. I love it every time I come out to yes. Phoenix, and you captured it expertly. The minute I saw your artwork, yes. I was thoroughly impressed by it. You are impressive. Yes. Thank you thank so you. much. Thank you. I mean, thank you. I mean, so much to me. Thank you. I mean, so much <laughs> to, to you, but honestly, the work you've done, drawing attention to indigenous peoples and the people of Arizona and welcoming all of us to your home, we thank you so much. Lucinda Hinojos, the, the amazing artist for this year's <laughs> Super Bowl 57 artwork. Thank you for joining us on the Backup Plan. We have much more of the show coming up right after this.